Mm -hmm. And it also has another one which uh, I can't illustrate with this. It has one where the outer two things come in and out. And in and out. Okay, well, and you want, in you want to do it with and out. Well, an extra pair of hands. Oh, extra hands. So you hold it in the middle. Okay, you ready? So it goes in and out and in and out. That's the symmetric one. And then another mode, these stay here, and this one goes left and right. Oh, oh my that's gosh. Another one. So there are three different vibrations of carbon dioxide in the infrared that, um, well, infrared is light. And light is a wave in electricity. It's a wave in the electric push. So when light comes by, it pushes on things known as charges. And a light wave coming in, a light wave that's going up and down like this, will push positive charges. So the light wave's going up and pushes positive charges up, and it pushes negative charges down at the same time. Plus and minus behave opposite. So when a light wave comes by and it's pushing this whole thing up, you see CO2, all right? Mm -hmm. Minuses are the O's, and the positive is the C. Every molecule, as you put it together, has its asymmetric, unless it's N2, two mm -hmm. identical things. That have, there's, there's no separation of charge. But if you have two different atoms attached, one's going to be plus and one's going to be minus, guaranteed. So um, O minus, O minus C plus, this, this, this light comes by pushing up. The, the, the carbon is pushed up. The, these are pushed down. Mm -hmm. and then the next part of the wave comes. It, in, in, so he lights away. First it pushes up, then it pushes down. And it does this. And it does this. And if the light pushes up and down at the resonant frequency, you get a lot of motion. So here it is. Here's visible light coming in. Compared to infrared, what's the frequency of visible? Smaller. Frequency is higher. Frequency is higher. Light is high frequency. Infrared is low frequency. I'm going to put in light. Oh, I ionized it. 